one known best. We're gonna wrangle, wrangle, wrangle. He wore a star, wore a Texas star. This man called Wrangle, Wrangle, Wrangle. From San Antonio to the Rio Grande, on mountain peak or desert sand, every outlaw feared the hand of danger. <laughs> When the full moon is bright, comes a horseman known as Zorro. His bold renegade carves the sea with his blade. Daniel Boone was a man, yes, a big man. With an eye like an eagle and as tall as a mountain was he. Come on, give me your girthiest amen. howdy. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess amen works too. <laughs> That's in character. Yeah! Don't worry, they're coming in. They're coming in. All right, they just have to. They have to get into focus. Just let them get into focus. Uh, I know it looks. I know it looks manifest. scuffy right now. Don't worry. It's just. It's just how OBS works. Listen, this isn't how the stream's gonna be. Just let pixel them. Pixel by pixel, I got on. about those pixels. <laughs> just let them get into focus. I'm there they go. Here, here they are. Pixel. All right. Come there. to me. This is like the Doctor Manhattan. <laughs> We're being Dr. like blended Manhattan. until the pixels are butter it's, smooth. It's Dr. the first. <laughs> it's the first trick he learned was to put himself. <laughs> He's like a skeletal ghost that's like freaking out scientists. Yeah, yeah. Incredible. <laughs> well, at it's least you did manifest. Now. You guys are here. <laughs> Thank God. Here, get a little, move a little bit over here. Everybody's got their characters out in front of them. Drawn by the great Saint Clappington. I mean, <laughs> Magni Desmond. Yes, ma'am. Drew a little, drew, drew some little things. Yeah. On art. First of all, hi, everybody. I'm the Keeper of the West. And also today's GM, DM, narrator, if you will. Who else do we have here? Who's this gentleman over here? Hello, everybody. It is I, Vesper Nora, the resident scholar of the Adventures of the Compass and a member of All Stars English. And I will be controlling Cookie Caliban. Put her there, partner. Yeah, put her there. Yeah. Slap you. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a cook and I'm in position of a family heirloom. I don't show it off lightly though, because it tends to draw the draw the stairs if you know what I'm talking about. Oh no. So. Oh lord. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't want nice to see that heirloom. <laughs> All right. Let him cook Cookie Caliban. Who is next? We, next, we've got. The name's Magni Desmond, aka the great Magni Desmond, and tonight I'll be playing Saint Clappington, <laughs> the patron saint of Super Chat. What the and... f? <laughs> Saint Clapping sure. Clappington is a is a holy man. Can I get an amen, chat? Give him the amen. Amen, brother. Or whatever is most ancillary to an amen in your culture <laughs> or region. <laughs> oh, I'm the black Lordy. eye, cold blooded killer, and uh, I have a cigarette case in my front pocket. Um, what does that cigarette <laughs> case do, by the way, if you don't mind telling the folks at home? By the power of God, I'm protected from a single bullet, single attempt on my life. Mm. Amen. That's good to know. Amen, amen. And oh, and my amen. gun basically has the properties of Thor's hammer. That's why it's floating. If you see right there, my little figurine. Ooh, <laughs> that's cool. So we can, I can like throw it and it comes back in my hand. Also, it's it's my Gucci gun because it's it's decked out with pearls and, and stuff. Gucci gun Clappington. I dig it. The most pious member of our little posse here. Or so he says. Kind of too fancy for a priest though, don't you think? Yeah, a little bit. It, a little bit baroque, I think. I don't yeah. know. You know, if I'm a representative of God, I have to look the part. <laughs> uh, true enough. Now, let me ask you a question, sir. Did you get that gun from the uh, the good paying people of the church? It is our Sneak gun. A, sneaking a little extra out of the collection our box, gun. I see. Servants of the Lord. Each sinner s struck down is, is, is a group effort, really. <laughs> I'm just one of my mag lord's many hands. Whatever you say. All right. Crony, your feathers okay. getting all up in my face. <laughs> Speaking of crony, introduce yourself. Sounds like a you problem. <laughs> I don't know, our posse kind of seems 
concerning. Um, but yeah, I'll be controlling Chris Scarface Reynolds, and <laughs> this kid has a golden arm and can shoot anyone. Anyone! It's Ash Ketchum, I don't know. But this like, Ash <laughs> But like, if they kill someone, it's they're ambiguous. gonna get traumatized for life. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, but I've... very powerful. <laughs> You know, I kind or of think um... you killed someone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh lordy, I actually realized something uh, that may may not make you very happy, Chris Scarface Reynolds. So, uh, upon further reading, further reading into the rules, um, the truth of the matter is, um, the only way to kill a man for sure is to put a bullet in him, and if you put a bullet in someone, they are dead. Okay. Yeah, they will like, die. No matter where. No matter where. Doesn't Whoa. matter where it is, you're dead. This is the West. Darn. So, so get ready for that. You gotta and clap them all. So time, time for trauma. Yeah, but I mean, you will. I mean, you will really. You can kill whoever you want, which is kind of cool. So, now, Sir Clappington is not exactly like better per se because Sir Clapping can, Clappington it's can Saint only Clappington. I said the Lord. Okay, well, <laughs> I didn't, I all right, didn't you're devote my life to the Lord to be called a Sir. All right, you. Saint. All right. I'm holy. You did that for yourself, though. The so only living saint. Not everyone's gonna call you Saint Clappington, so get ready for that. There are gonna be some people that say, "Sir, <laughs> uh, do not insult the Lord." It's not like he's the Lord. I'm ready. I think I'm ready. I think I'm ready. Mm -hmm. All righty. Then let me go ahead and set the stage for you. We move away from this here gun shop behind me. And instead, we head out to the desert. The West is dying. It's really dying. Or at least it sure as hell feels like it's dying. Not much left remains of those wild days of chaos and cowboys chasing bandits through the desert plains. At least not in the way y'all remember from the movies, y'all in chat. The oil rigs are going up. The gold rush has come to an end. And while oil is king, a brand new economy has taken a firm grasp over the West. Y'all, however, don't give much a damn about that. Y'all are still cowboys. Our story begins with three outlaws who have taken some kind of strange shine to each other. Why don't we go and meet them, chat? In fact, in fact, these outlaws are all congregating in the same area. Congregating together at an old church. Old church. An old church that is uh, seemingly owned by St. Clappington, but we all know that's not the truth. You see, St. Clappington actually uh, made his home here while the original reverend, Reverend Louis Devlin, is out on vacation. But he hasn't been here for a couple of months, so, well, St. Clappington decided to just go ahead and move right in and, you know, continue the preaching because, well, you know, this is this is a place of God and sermons must continue, right? Of course. Amen. Problem being, uh, Reverend Louis Devlin does not know who St. Clappington is. He's just kind of, he just kind of moved in and brought his posse with him. Now, Cookie Caliban, how did you meet this fella? <laughs> <laughs> what? Vesper? Oh, I'm muted. I'm sorry. I see Vesper's <laughs> mouth move and I just hear <laughs> things moving in the background. Well, purely by accident, mind you. Oh. I am wanted by an unscrupulous fellow for uh, a mistake, an honest mistake. He's a grim eyed feller that I don't very much meet on my lonesome. <laughs> I look for a partner to work with. And I would provide a brand new form of sustenance known as a pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> I feel like it's going to take off. Maybe it's a little bit before our time, but... End of its time. It might be the talk of the town. St. Clappington is a mm. dead-eyed feller you do not want to mess with. And I will, I will join his flock in return for protection. Although he does scare me something fierce. And in exchange for not much, I am a holy man. I do not ask much of my followers, my children here. Some people say, where is Mr. Devlin? And I say, would you really be trusting your, your religious duties to a man with devil in his name? I think not. <laughs>
that's that's how pious I am, how devoted I am to helping others in return for this pumpkin spice latte. Uh, do my best to protect young Mr. Caliban here and do my duty. Amen. Amen. Hey. hey. Amen, Saint. As you guys are conversing over here in the corner, young Chris Scarface Reynolds, what's your day like, Chris? I, I was just a poor lost soul wandering, mm. and then I saw saw Saint Clappington and his shiny gun, and I assumed that he had enough money to take in a <laughs> poor lost soul, and uh. this. Pumpkin spice latte sounded really good, and I, I feel like it might take off. When it does, I want to take some credit for being his assistant, mayhaps. Oh, I see. That's as good enough a reason as any, really. Yeah, you're not the only young in here, actually, uh, Chris, Chris Scarface Reynolds. There is also an altar boy, an altar boy by the name of Ned Emerson, who occasionally talks to you here and there. Young Ned Emerson, who is, uh, real dedicated to the cause and also a, a little suspicious of, of St. Clappington. He won't leave, though, uh, nor will he call the police on St. Clappington because, well, St. Clappington's real scary. Um... You see the, the young altar boy kind of ru runs up into the middle of the three of you who are just lay lazing about in the in the, in the church. The Ned kind of, you know, pokes his head in and says, uh, "Hello, uh you three, I'm I'm real I'm nervous something fierce. I I just get the feeling that the reverend's going to be back soon and I look, I've well truth be told, I've grown a bit fond of you three. It's just you want to clean up the place, make it a bit nicer? The place is a bit trashed. Just a little bit. The house of the Lord. Uh, the, with the three of you living there, you've not been taking very good care of it. Suffice to say. Doesn't look very good. Yeah. Well, my... Well, Tad, uh, I tell you what. That's not my name. <laughs> <laughs> right. What? It's Ned. Ned Emerson. Ah, uh, right. Fred, come here, my oh, boy. All right. Under God's protection, no harm will come to us or you, whoever may be trashing this place. Because when when you're under the gaze of the Mag Lord, you don't need to be tidy. The only thing that needs to be tidy, young Fred, is your soul. So I think we'll be okay. All right. Well. Also, I'll shoot him. <laughs> I'll go. I'll go clean up the kitchen. That's on me. That's on me. Okay. Fine. Fine. We'll tidy up a little bit, and. Uh, why don't you just hang out with this other boy here? He's been just kind of like sitting in the corner staring at us. And he's also got a big giant golden metal arm. So I don't know what, maybe you can find out what, what his deal is. Uh, uh, um, I, I have a bad stomach, so I think I got to sit down. I, I don't think I can help you with this this mess. I, I never made the mess to begin with. I'm just a little kid. Oh, we got to do what we, we each got to do our part though. That boy ain't right, I tell you what. As I, as I walk off to the kitchen to clean. Oh. Oh. I'm kill him these days, I mutter. <laughs> <sighs> At least the kitchen will be clean. Today's sermon, what are we going to do for the homily? Do, do you know what we're... What kind of story you want to tell? Or Because last time you kind of just made, made it up on the spot and I think it made people uncomfortable. Ah. <laughs> uh, this story, this... Him that I'm about to tell is going to be so holy that it will burn the trash off the ground, I say. Maybe you should try it now. <laughs> Just hold on, Chris. This, this, <laughs> this boy's enthusiasm for for devotion is is he's eager. So here's here's today's sermon for everyone here gathered. And many, just like many, that, many people begin to file up. into the church. Oh thank god. Welcome everyone! <laughs> come, come, <laughs> Phil. <laughs> file into the church and everyone is usually a little confused a little put off um by the fact that you know reverend louis devlin isn't here but they they accept you because you know they're god fearing folk welcome uh many of you probably are wondering where sir sir devlin is he's run away oh oh no <gasps> he's run away he couldn't take it anymore no need to fear i'm here up and there was no water for anyone anymore at all and the so if you take notice this young boy here his name is chris will walk down the aisle you could give whatever you can you can muster the church 
We'll take whatever we can. Thank you. Amen. From, from the kitchen. Amen, preacher. <laughs> Amen. Uh, St. Clappington, before I start collecting, I have a question. How did he drink the entire ocean? It's pretty salty. I'm pretty sure he's going to die if he drinks all of that. He was so thirsty. <laughs> How is that? He oh, was if you're paying attention, thirsty, Chris. Oh. If you're paying oh. attention, Chris. He did die. I mean, he, he I did die. He didn't die from drinking the ocean. How is that possible? It was unspecified why he died, but we do know for a fact that uh, this greedy man did die. I I, I see. I, I see. Okay, I, I guess it makes sense. Amen. Okay. Amen, Chris. Um, go, go get the cash. Pa pardon me, uh, preacher. Uh, somebody in the in the pews kind of raises a hand. Yes, you. Uh, um, I don't remember any of this in the Bible. Is this scripture? Or uh, see, normally Re Reverend Louis Devlin picks a scripture from the Bible and gives a story related to that. This seems a little. Uh, I ain't heard a story like this, and I read the Bible cover to cover. Timothy Backwater. Very good question, Timothy. Thank you, everyone. Did we hear it for Timmy? Uh, yes. Everyone yes. awkwardly yeah. claps. Yeah. 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 Everyone claps yeah. really awkwardly. Yeah. 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 Yeah, Timothy. Well, Timothy Backwater. Ah, related to Jeffrey Backwater. Maybe. Oh, yeah, he's my cousin. Oh, the Backwaters. Yeah. Uh, good to have one of you here. Well, Timothy, they released a sequel, but it was only available for a limited time. So you may not have come across Bible 2. They did? Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> <laughs> They Which released was... a second Bible? Yes, yes, Timothy, they did. And I was one of the lucky few who happened to pre-order it on the midnight release of Bible 2. And I also oh. got a little figurine of the Lord as well with it. Can we, can we see that Bible? No, no, no. It's like, it's, 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 it's very old, but it was released a thousand years ago via time castle form. Our Lord sees very far ahead, has anticipated such things. So even though it was released after the fact, it is still very old and so cannot be seen by eyes, cannot be exposed to the air, to the moisture in the air, lest it decompose. Oh. But uh, you can trust me to look at me. Yeah. Look into my eyes. Oh. You can trust me. All right, preacher, I trust you, says Timothy. However, there are a couple other not-so-trusting customers in the pews, so you're going to have to go ahead and roll a swindle roll. So go ahead and roll 2d6 two, two to convince everyone of the Bible 2. Roll them bones. And that's a success. The people in the pews, they're just here to praise the Lord, and, you know, they don't really know for sure. The way that you make it sound, it's so very convincing. There really could have been a sequel to the Bible, mm -hmm. so... So they, they tend to believe you, and they, they actually, you know, break out into a bit of applause for your very thorough description. Clap, clap, clap. Thank you. Thank you. I'm only doing the Lord's work. Right when you are about to kind of close up your sermon, there's a bit of a, a commotion in the back of the church. A bit of a commotion. Hey, what's going out. on back there? You notice that <clears throat> in the back of the church, you hear a big voice booming out through the back. What in the Sam hell is going on in my chapel? Uh-oh. Uh oh And you see a very, well, pious-looking man, a bit similar to how you yourself look, Sir Clappington, kind of make his way up to the front of the church with um, two briefcases in hand and the sheriff behind him. And he says, I'm the reverend of this town. I'm, I'm Reverend Louis Devlin, and what the Sam hell is going on here? Who is this heretic? Heretic? Whoa, hold on. I, I think, listen here, Mr. Devlin, was it? I think this is just a complete misunderstanding. You, you seem like you've journeyed a long ways. You've been gone from this chapel for many days. You seem hungry, perhaps before we would like to hash this out. You would care to share a meal with my good friend, Cookie Caliban here? How does a uh, how does a uh, pumpkin spice latte sound to you, you you gentlemen? I don't Wash want the that trail trash. dust from your gullet. <laughs> I don't want that right, trash. Right. No, yeah. it's good. Says right. the all reference. Right. Right. The sheriff, right. however, <laughs> the sheriff, however, kind of looks you up and down, Cookie, and says, oh, "I'll take one." 
Yes, sir. Coming right up. Yeah. I, I, I want to make this one extra good. The sheriff kind of takes over here and says, I'm Sheriff Morrison, by the way. Some people call me Old Pink. But uh, you can just call me Sheriff Morrison. Um, I'm a little confused as to what's going on here. The the chapel here is uh, registered under the name Louis Devlin, but I can see clear as day that Louis Devlin is here with me, um, having taken a vacation, and we heard a little something, some 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 whispers around the town that somebody else had taken up residency well, here at the chapel. Some squatters. Is that would that be all, folks? Oh, oh, listen to me, old pink. Do you mind if I call you old pink? All right, uh, I'll allow it. All right, sir. Well, you know. Mr. Uh, Mr. Devlin here goes on vacation, but you know who never who doesn't go on vacation, the Lord. And uh, we, we, even though we may not know each other, us servants of the Lord, we are just that servants of the Lord. In a, a, a chapel, a, a holy house, cannot go unattended for far too long. And you know, Louis Devlin, I haven't taken a vacation since I was five. But you know what, Mr. Devlin, there he needs a break. He needs a break. Can't fault him. But the people need to be served. Now, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy to relinquish the reins. But I think my work here far exceeds that of Mr. Devlin's. And I'm just trying to serve the Lord. You understand that, don't you, Sheriff? The Sheriff kind of sits on this for a minute and doesn't seem to immediately object. Because the Sheriff, too, you can tell, is a, is a God-fearing woman. And, and she kind of understands where you're coming from. However, uh, the Reverend kind of bellows out, Well, where are you supposed to go now? And where am I supposed to go now? This is my chapel. This is my home. And we cannot share. I've been running this chapel for 50 years. Pardon me, folks. Pardon me. Sheriff, here's your pumpkin sky spice latte. Oh, well, don't mind if I do. Oh, thank you. Uh, wh what is your What is your name, young man? The yeah, name is Cookie man. Caliban. Cookie Caliban. Oh, thank you. He takes a sip of pumpkin spice latte. Oh, this is pretty good, actually. It'll wet your whistle. Oh, sure. Darn sure. tootin'. <laughs> Darn tootin'. Hey, I kind of like this guy. Um, Reverend, do you really need me here? The Reverend kind of angrily stomps his foot and says, Sheriff, are you really not going to do something about this? This is my chapel! And uh, the sheriff kind of says, well, I mean, I, I'd, I'd go ahead and say this is God's chapel. You know, so Amen. so you you two can figure it out yourselves. Uh, I don't see a need for the law here in this house of the Lord, so I'm going to go ahead and head on home. Uh, by the way, uh, does that child have a home? <laughs> she points to Chris. Uh... Oh. I, I, I'm a follower of the Lord, or so they say, um, a amen, amen, hallelujah. Don't, don't mind this one right here. He's, uh, uh, he's... Uh, 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 Saint Clappington well, uh, took, the head. Me, uh, 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 took me under the wing, and I'm just, I'm just trying to live. I'm just, I'm doing my best, sir. Sir, look at, look at this child's hat. Do you see how wonderful and expensive looking it is? If this child was struggling and needing to be rehomed, would they really have such an expensive looking hat? Hmm. That is a right purdy hat. You make a good point, but I see you got a couple altar boys. I'm I'm watching Those... you. <laughs> Sheriff no, leaves they're... the <laughs> leaves the church. They get here. They play Magic the Gathering. The now sheriff leaves. <laughs> 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 The, sh the sheriff leaves the church. <laughs> the same hell. You know what? He picks up his suitcases, begins to walk back towards the, the exit of the church, looks back at you and says, there will be retribution, and leaves the church. Looks like you've successfully managed to ask the reverend to leave, and the reverend has indeed left. So it's just you three now. What was your name? Chris? Chris Re Scarface Reynolds, sir. <laughs> You, you, you did a good part of uh, helping us get rid of that reverend there. Oh. How much uh, how much cash did you manage to grab? How much did they give? All right, Chris looks the rough rifles through the bills. It looks like you've got about two cash. About about two dollars, sir. That, that's probably enough, no, sir. Well, there's two only two dollars. And three of us, so we're gonna have to roll for it, I think. Wait, wait, you guys don't have any money? I'm in, I'm the red, Chris. I'm in I, dire need of a foot. So y you guys are just ripping, ripping off a child? Well, I'll tell you what, Chris, I have a lot of debt. I borrowed some money from the bank because I wanted to start a 
frozen yogurt place. That was a stupid idea out here in the western desert. You know, on paper, I thought it was good. It's like, hey, it's hot here. Why don't you sell your gun then? Oh, no, I need this to kill people, Chris. <laughs> kill people? Wait! <laughs> see my gun? It's like, it's called, I call it the Mother of Pearl. You see this Gucci gleam on it. It shines in the, under the moonlight, all sorts of colors. It's nice and ornate. As a, as a follower of the Lord, especially being the Father, shouldn't you be more conservative and be humble with money and wealth? I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> I spent it, but I don't got it. That's just the truth of things. Maybe it is righteous to pay your debts. Mm -hmm. Head of sore spot, huh, sir? That's what I, I'm trying to live my life as, as the Lord intended, one step at a time. So, it's very deep, give sir, me those two dollars. <laughs> okay, this is just my life savings, but okay. <laughs> Oh, That's your oh. life savings? You just got it right now! Uh, yeah. It's from these people! <laughs> I, I, I know, but, but you know, the moment I that. touch this- <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Um, now evening approaches and it's time for dinner. What my, are we having? My time to shine. What are we having, Cookie? Better not about, be how... pumpkin spice latte. No, 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 no. That's just what I serve to guests. We're just cooking a nice little pumpkin stew. All right. And maybe some pumpkin bread. Yeah. To, to mop it up. All right. Yep. Anything else aside from <laughs> Chris is picky. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, <laughs> Mr. Caliban. Uh, that sounds amazing. <laughs> picky child. Chris, no. I've been eating pumpkin for the past two years. Every <laughs> two day weeks. Of every day. <laughs> wow, two weeks, and I'm already sick of it. I can't. I close my it. eyes and I see pumpkin. I could make a chili if you guys are tired of pumpkin. Ooh, Just sneak a little oh, bit of yeah. sneak a little bit of pumpkin in there. You won't even know it's in oh. there. <laughs> you all dice right. it up real thin. You let it you let it melt. You won't even know it's in there. Where do you even get all these pumpkins from? The Lord provides it. Oh, I just walk out there. Brother. I just walk out there. Just a pumpkin. <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> I want to have you go ahead and roll survive to see how good this uh, food you're making is. 1d6. Of course, it's a masterpiece. Um, you this managed... is the most delicious pumpkin I've ever had, <laughs> Caliban. I, I'm telling you, I know how to cook cooks me a pumpkin. If you're sick of it, I could try to cook you something else. I make no promises for the quality of it, but I do my best, sir. I do my best, but I will take that into consideration. And the next time we sit down to break bread, I will not cook pumpkin. Or Chris. Hey, Chris, you can have the rest of this. Eh. Oh. Uh, uh, thank you. It looks as though you formed yourself a little posse. What do you choose to call yourselves? Two, well, two, and, a, two and a half hats? <laughs> no, hold on. Wait. Par pardon? Uh, oh, no. Two, two and a half hats? No. Two and a half hats. I like the ring of it. Who's the half Listen, hat? Listen, Galvan, you're Of course it's me. Of course it's me. I know. You, you're putting down your hat, sir. Well, I wouldn't really it's say me. your hat is half a hat, even though it's a little lackluster over there. I wouldn't put yourself down like that, Calvin. Yeah, St. Clappington's hat is like less than half, so. Hmm? Yeah, I guess it doesn't make sense. Are we, no. are we, are we venturing into what? the territory of 1.75 hats? No, no, no. That that's too wordy. When when the when the sinners are fearing. Well, look how see. big Chris's hat is. I feel like two and a half hats is an accurate assessment of how many hats we have total. So if your hat that's is less one than and a half one, hats at the least, that might be a twofer right there. You, you 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 know what I'm saying? I see an aggregate cumulative two and a half hats. As you guys are discussing the mathematics, the mathematical equation of being called two and a half hats <laughs> for many hours late into the night, eventually you guys begin to feel a bit sleepy. It might be time to hit the oh. hay. Mighty strong hankering for sleep more than, more than usual. That's kind of strange. And before you know it, all three of you have passed out. You dream so deeply, you've never had a deeper dream in your life. Darn tootin'. And then eventually, when you do come to, it's not the type of nice waking up on a sunny, sunny day in the west where you hear the birds chirping and the sun is filtering through the window. No, 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 this is much different. This is the type of waking up that only happens when you are in a coma 
or you took what? yourself some sleeping pills. What the? That's right. You wake up in the desert. You you wake up in the desert. In Sand Hill. The first thing you notice <laughs> is that all of you have been buried in sand except for your heads sticking out of the ground. Oh. No, not again! <laughs> Calvin, wake up! Chris, what, wake up! What did Clapperton. you put in the tube? Sing Clapperton. It was, wasn't me. I have no idea what happened. Might have been that, that devilish preacher man. <laughs> wakey wakey it looks oh, like the, the dunces of the dying west have finally awoken haven't they boys and you see three silhouettes in the distance shadows against the stars out in the desert real suspicious folk someone roll squint I can't see <laughs> roll 2d6 to assess the situation alright it looks like you've succeeded you I squint squeaked. into the night to try to get the beat on our assailants. All right. Well, well, Saint Clapperton, I see, I see three tough-looking cookies. One, one coveted large round boy, a cowpoke, and a tough old lady you don't want to mess with. By the I've been trying to no. lose weight recently, says the larger man. And you're doing a fine job of it. If you need a dietitian, I am at your service, sir. Don't believe him. All Chris. he does is feed me 1,500 calorie pumpkin spice lattes every night. Uh, can Chris shout for help at them? <laughs> <laughs> like, you want to shout please, for help? Oh. Yeah, I, I've been, I've been, I've been held hostage by Saint Clapping and Sir Calvin. Please help me. Oh, I'm just a little kid. Please help. And they stole my money, my two dollars, my life savings. Whoa, whoa, I have no, nothing. Hold on. They, they I... took everything from me, a little kid. Yeah. I have a broken soul. Shut up! They all slap each one of you. Each one slaps one of you. Yeah, quiet down. We know the whole situation here. The whole shakedown, if you will. We got we got the lowdown from the Reverend. He's the one that paid us that good money to put you here. I should have shot that bastard. <laughs> I, I think there's been a big misunderstanding <laughs> here. <laughs> Look, we ain't no God-fearing people. For us, money, money is our God. So we were happy to put you both, all three of you, into this hole here. But, but we don't have any money, except maybe St. Clappington. He, he took two dollars from me. <laughs> Boy, were you listening? Says the main one in the middle. <clears throat> we already been paid. We done did our job. We're just here to laugh at you now. By the way, my name's Pony Mitchell of the Outhouse Boys. We are the new reigning bandit kings of the West. <laughs> nah, Maybe. Oh, boys, I, I heard about these fellas. Come oh, really? Fellas. You heard about us? Oh, I, man, I, we're getting I, famous. I, I have. I have. Uh, that's right, mister. Wow. I have heard about you. I've uh, Tales of the Outhouse Boys come far. They've reached my ears. They've said that you, you boys are God-fearing men. Is that right? And one, and one woman. That's right, and one Ma. Woman. And That's one right. woman. I, I'll, I'll make you a deal here. I'll trade you my secret stash of gold. More gold than you've ever seen in your life. It's worthless to me when weighed against the value of my own life and the life of my Sir Caliban here. To some degree, Chris, this Chris. little boy, Chris. <laughs> now it's, <gasps> it's... If I look up into the night sky, I see I... Yes, yes, it should it should be right over there, right behind you by that cactus, buried. I swear. Go on, roll swindle. Twice, right? Uh, once. 2D6. So two, two once. D, two oh. D6. 2D6, okay. Give us a 2D6. <sighs> Woo! Oh, wow. Damn. Ma, I really believe this guy. He seems like he knows what he's talking about. Right, you would say you would say you trust me, don't you? Shut it, Bert. I don't know if I believe this guy over here. Let me squint real hard at him. Oh, this God fear a man of the Lord. Should I believe him? Should I not? What should we do here? Huh? Exactly three people, you say? That's right. Well, there's three of us. So that's right. Let's go see if the gold's there, shall we? We have an opening because they ain't paying attention to us, correct? That is true, but literally only your heads are peeking out of the ground. 
Exactly. God guides my bullet through the sandy pressure. I swear it. All right. There's no way. All right, There's this no is a way. hard action. <laughs> this is a hard action. So you're gonna have to you're gonna have to roll with power. Roll power for your gun. Uh, that's a that's however many d sixes are in power. It's a hard action, so it's gotta be it's gotta be a six. <laughs> uh, you shoot into the ground and it makes a noise. Oh, Ma, was that an earthquake? I don't uh, think that was no fart. earthquake. Fart. <laughs> I think that was someone trying to be sneaky. Chris, oh, I told you, Chris. Yeah, you... I have a really bad stomach. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> um, Chris, uh, Scarface yeah. Reynolds. Yeah, yes, yeah, sir. That's me. That kid that got got cheating at cards. Yeah, maybe, yes, maybe. So you're a real, you're a real card player, aren't you? Says the, the main one, Pony Mitchell, kind of squats down in front of you. You like playing cards? You like cheating at cards? Uh, I win games fair and square, but apparently because I'm just too cracked at it, people just think I'm a cheat. But I, I just, just, that's just wrong. That's mm. just... Pony Mitchell pats your cheek and says, that's the spirit, that's the spirit, kid. We've been looking for someone who can cheat at cards to pull off a little, a little heist on our behalf. Oh, yeah. oh I, I, I could, I could, I could be a really good asset to, uh, to you guys. I, I'm just like, I, I can adapt really quickly in a new environment. I can... I can wash the dishes. I can. I can do anything. Oh, kid, we ain't doing the mission. You got. Yeah, you all are gonna go on your own. We have a job for all of you, all y'all, little yellow bellies. If you want to take a little job here, we'll set you free. But we gotta strike a little deal first. Okay. We are amenable to a deal. If you will, if you will, uh, if you will let us go. What is, what is the deal? All right, but the kids gotta go with you. Okay. Understood. Damn. Kids, okay. very cool <laughs> yes. This. yes, sir. All right. So here's the deal. Every Monday, there's a train that rolls by about a couple miles south of here. A train that passes by with a very important poker game happening on it. That's right, there's a real high roller, an oil baron named Oliver Crosby, the oil man, and he holds his high-stake poker game on a train that passes by every single Monday. What I need you, what all three of us need you folks to do is go grab that treasure for us. See, we were gonna do it ourselves, but my ma's got a bad back, and I'm I'm really not trying to put her into any any bad situations recently, so figured we could go hire some other outlaws to take care of it instead. See, of course, the oil baron brings a lot of money on there to, to bet in his poker game. Some other really high rollers, too, bring a lot of money to bet in that game. So, we need you to steal all of it. This is a train robbery, boys! Well, doesn't seem like we have much of an option here. <laughs> so That's exciting! Oh, and we should just... Yeah, yeah, I mean... We'll do it. Count us in. Yeah, let's Free us. Do it. Yeah. Free us and we'll, we'll we'll get that treasure for you. All right. So a deal's a deal then. You'd shake deal's on it, deal. but <laughs> looks like y'all are in a bit of a predicament. <laughs> they break out into laughter in front of you. <laughs> Count <Calvin. laughs> Shut up. And you guys eventually wake up in the morning and the, the sun is breaking over the horizon and you all have been dug up. Bodies laying on the ground. You can see a couple rattlesnakes kind of slithering around you guys. Some vultures. Oh, God, Chris! Oh, <laughs> I got this! I got this! <laughs> you shoot the rattlesnakes? I, I, I kill I kill the rattlesnakes using the well-used knife. All right. <laughs> you use the well-used knife to kill them. I'll go ahead and give that to you. Easily, you kill the rattlesnake. <laughs> You have taken it life like from this world. Meat's back on the menu, boys. It looks like meat's back on the menu. Finally, something that's not fun. Oh, sustenance, sweet, sweet sustenance. You figure if you follow the train tracks, you might be able to find the station. All right, gang. This is what we're gonna do. We're gonna I go. Do. Run mm -hmm. for it. We're gonna go to. St no, you, where are you going? <laughs> okay. <laughs> just, just stay right here. Just an idea, sir. All right, out, out. Outback Steakhouse Boys, I forget what those fellas were even called, but whatever. <laughs> they said there was treasure on that train. 
Nah, you here I was did. thinking we would just make a break for it and never be seen again. But now that they say that, I'm thinking we take that treasure. All right. How are we going to do it? Well, I'm not a violent man. So I think fighting's out of question. How many how many people they got on that train anyways? Like it's gonna be like Snowpiercer in there. <laughs> but our little Chris here has a reputation for being a cheat. Right? Not not a cheat, just a pro pro card gamer. Oh no! This is a misplay. <laughs> no! <laughs> well you my friend have a reputation for the opposite, I hear. I, I am an all honorable man, sir. Well, if there's things head south, we can probably just blah, blah, and then get the treasure in. Holy. No. My God. I, I Chris. thought it was a pretty good plan B. No. You're a violent child. I, I thought you liked violence, sir. I didn't say that any, any which way, Chris. Real children of the corn. No. <laughs> Bull hockey, I, I swear. <laughs> well, as the sun is rising and it is a Monday, you guys are gonna need to get moving and grooving over to the station if you want any hope of getting on that train. You guys are gonna have to gonna have to roll. Um, you guys are gonna have to roll to move quick. Oh roll no, hustle. hustle. Uh oh. Let's see some hustle. I Everybody have roll no, hustle. I have nothing into hustle. Therefore, right. I have to roll two and take the lower. Right. That's correct. That is unfortunate. I will go first. Ooh, that's not good. That's not the best. Cookie's real slow, sadly. How about the rest of y'all? All right, we, we both each have one in Hustle. Yuppers. All righty, uh, that's not great either. I mean, this is really bad. Y'all y'all are slow bunch of motherfuckers. Y'all are real <laughs> we, slow. We spent, we spent the better part of 24 hours in a hole. <laughs> it's all the <laughs> pumpkin spice latte, I tell you. I feel heavy. You guys realize real quickly that you're not going to get there on foot. Roll squint to see if you can parse anything around you that might be able to help you. I can't see shit. <laughs> what do you guys see? <laughs> Chris, maybe you should squint. I'm all squinted out. Okie dokie. These is... those young eyes of yours. <laughs> <laughs> open your eyes, Chris! I, God dang! I, I need glasses! You open your I would eyes! Like to, I would like to squint. Alright, go for it. Sand flies into Chris's eyes, and Chris is unable to see for the next 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um, do, you, do you have zero squint? Uh, I have I have two. Two squid. excellent. Yeah. So that means you succeed. Thankfully, um, while Chris is kind of busy rubbing rubbing the sand out of Chris's eyes, you know, just kind of crying a little bit because it really stings, man. It really hurts. <laughs> Don't um, rub it; it'll make it worse, boy. <laughs> um, Cookie, on the other hand, kind of looks around and realizes that there is a nearby ranch. What, what do you what, what do you see, Caliban? I see on a ranch. I don't see anybody around it. I do see two pretty looking horses tied up all by their lonesome. They look like they might be hungry. Maybe we should go get them some food. I'll do you one better. We steal these horses. Sorry. <laughs> Borrow these horses. We could return the horses after, right? Or we could eat them afterwards. <laughs> wow. That boy ain't right. Free meat. Free meat. We got plenty of snake meat at home. Uh, Not opposed. Yeah. All right, let's 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 let's, let's, let's go yonder and see if we can't make these horses amicable to our needs. Says, we mosey on over to that you ranch. Can't see for the next thirty minutes. I'm gonna tie this little rope around you. <laughs> like a leash. Like a leash. Just feel the the pull. Excellent. Where we're going. Excellent. Excellent. There are no eye drops here. in the west. Unfortunately. <laughs> I have my tears. I, I can Are you okay, I Chris? Can cry. I can cry what it all in thirty minutes. I just I just my eyes. I can't see shit. <laughs> you gotta close your eyes when those dust storms kick up, you know? As, <laughs> as you lead Chris behind you like an animal. Um and Cookie kinda leads the way to the ranch that he spotted. Um now Cookie, what you notice as you mosey on up to the ranch um, is that the horses, they're tied up, and it really did look like there was nobody there, but someone opens the door and actually comes out to greet you guys. Oh, hello there, fellas! Oh, 
Sorry, skip behind me. Hey there! <laughs> Don't see a lot of company out here in the- well, Howdy! Oh my lord, is- Hello, father, is that- You have a child tied up behind you? Ah. Uh, sinner. Sinner, more like. Pain is- Pain is dues. <laughs> we're, 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 we're bringing- I'm bringing this young boy over <laughs> to various people to show people examples of what a sinner's life will lead to. Look at this boy's arm. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Golden. Lord, the shame. Such All shame. right. Well, I don't okay. get a lot of visitors out here. Can I do something for y'all? Yes, yes, well, you can. Thank you. The You know, you, the, you'll be in the Lord's gr good graces. By, by helping us here, I'm just you know big curious. Are you are you here alone? Oh well, yeah. You know my my wife passed away a couple of years ago, so now it's just me by my right. lonesome. Right. Right. So what 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 do you do when you spend your days doing here? By oh lonesome. well, I got a couple pigs and some cows and you know I and I, horses and horses, yeah, and chickens. I noticed and you have do you have two horses right here. I do. Yeah. Right. You you ride these horses often? Oh, on occasion, you know, if I need on to occasion. make some trips over to, to town or to the, the railway at the station that's nearby, if I'm trying to get into town, I ride one over there and then ride the train into town, actually, matter of fact. Oh, do you? Wow. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, you wouldn't happen to have a wagon, would you? We we really pressed on time to get to that train station. We would a, be, wa a wagon? We would be obliged if you could help us get to that train station safe and sound. Oh, Lord, I don't know. See, we've only just met, and uh, I'm really not very trusting of strangers, you see. Understandable, sir. We are in quite a hurry. we got to get on that train at any How cost. How about this? What, what was your name? What was your name, sir? Uh, me? I'm, uh... I'm Billy. 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 Billy just Billy, call me Billy. Billy, Billy. <laughs> Billy. Yeah. Billy boy. <laughs> I, I'll make you a deal. <laughs> Yeah. In my pocket, I have but two cash. Oh. Might I buy your horse for one cash each? Oh, I'm sorry. Each one of these here horses is real purebred. They're each worth three cash minimum. Oh. Ooh. I don't know about that, Billy. They're used. <laughs> I don't know if there's really a market for used horses. Are you insulting it's three, my it's three horses? Off, it's three off the lot, and you know the second that you ride one off the lot, it halves in value. I mean, look at that one. Uh, the sir, miles on sir that one. Billy, do you believe in the Lord? These are premium steeds, and yes, I do believe in the Lord, but I don't believe the Lord would have anyone roll up onto my ranch telling me how much my horses are worth. Right. Well, it's just, that it's, is unfortunate, sir. I mean, uh, Mr. Clappington is a saint, and if you if you follow if you follow his wishes, you will be blessed by the Lord each and every day, and you will get a special seat in heaven or something. I don't really know. <laughs> roll, roll, <laughs> all right, Chris, roll straight talk. Straight talk. Yeah, roll your straight talk. What happens if I assist? Oh, you I can have add one. You can add dice to the pool, but it'll still be the lowest one. Sorry, Chris, you're on your own. <laughs> All right, uh, your straight talk doesn't work on the rancher. He doesn't seem to get angrier, but he's just not having it. Billy crosses his arms and says, you're going to have to make a better deal than that. All right. You need, you need, you need something of value for that horse, correct? Uh, yes, that is true. Could I show you something that might be worth that tr in value, but uh, away from my compatriots here? No funny business. No funny business, sir. All right. And then so <laughs> Cookie Caliban will like <laughs> flash like the Pagliacci. My good God, my stars. What is that? That, sir, is an Italian revolver wielded by the legendary Pagliacci himself, who is a distant relative of myself. Good God. What would, what would, what would you what value would you put on that there pistol right there? Well, like as as he's like walking, right? Like a little bit further away from the group. Well, well, I never. I would say that's definitely worth my two steeds. All right. Well, while Vesper or while Caliban has him distracted, I'm gonna walk up and shoot him in the back. Of the head. <laughs> <laughs> All 
right. Um. Well, let's see. He doesn't trust you, and he's not running away from you. Ah, uh, true. Yeah. Uh, he has not surrendered. So, what you're, you're gonna need to do a roll for me. Let's make it precision for a headshot. Let me see. Okay, I've won. I've won. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Um. So you um. You shoot him. You shoot him dead. In the head. Bang! <gasps> And Billy, Billy is no more. Billy boy, he is no more. You have killed this man, and uh, he is on the ground. Chris, you just watched a man die. But it wasn't no, you. No, no, but it wasn't you. So. He's blinded. He's blinded. He can't see nothing. Everyone's telling me to close my eyes, but I can't see was, anything. That was nothing. That you was hear nothing. a body fall to the ground. Chris, that was nothing. It, the gentleman dropped some cookie tray. Don't mind oh. it. Oh, okay. Oh, where did where did Billy go? Where did Sir Billy go? Caliban, what 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 happened? Can you what happened with Billy? Are we free to take the horses? What's going on? <laughs> can I can I roleplay something if you be go, funny? go for it. I get like covered in like blood. <laughs> Marvin, what do you make of all this? Man, I don't even have an opinion. Well, you gotta have an opinion. I mean, do you think that God came down from heaven and stopped? Oh, what the fuck's happening now? Oh, oh man. man. Oh, man, I shot Marvin in the face. Why the fuck you do that? Mm. Because I was, like, yeah. next to him, right? Yeah, you are you are splattered completely with yeah, his yeah, brains yeah. and viscera. Jumping Jehoshaphat! <laughs> Say, <Saint> Cal... <laughs> Say, Clappington, could you... Could you mind the splashback? <laughs> That is disgusting. The we're are disgusting. trying to help you out here, oh, sir. But... It's the lemonade, Chris. He spilt his lemonade all over himself. It's a shame. Oh, man. A man at his age spilling lemonade all over himself, mm -hmm. man. What you is... promised me, sir, no more gray matter on my persons if I assist you. I am trying my best to assist you, but this is disgusting. I think the horses should be ours, but we don't know if there's more people on the ranch. Perhaps we should, uh, Billy secure said, Billy, I took it. You looked like a trustworthy man. I took his word for it. There's no I guess, I guess we take the horses then. That man is now dead. Cookies but shakes you know his head. not dead? The stuff in his pockets. I'm checking his pockets. This is a bad man. All right. First order of business. We got to name these new steeds of ours. <laughs> <laughs> That's the most important. Point. We could we could name them all we ride, right? Right? Sing, all right, let's get riding. Sing Clappington, let's let's ride. Alright. I hereby dub my steed Billy. Get <laughs> What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> that is some absolute psychopath behavior, Saint. All right. Can I see that Billy's terrifying. dead body out in the open? Yes. Oh, oh my god. Oh yeah, I shot that guy, Chris. It is what it is. I thought, I thought it was just a cookie tray, man! Why? You killed a man! Saint Clappin' Sometimes, you know... You're a psychopath with a psychopath. Man. No. At least you checked his pockets, right? Yeah. <laughs> They're so bad. He had nothing in there. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> oh, <good> Lord. <laughs> I guess we should get going then. All right. All right. Yeah. All right. You guys saddle up and get riding onward on Billy. And, uh, well, as you continue um, toward riding toward the, the sun at the same direction as the railroad tracks, what do you decide to name the other one? That's your seed there, Caliban. What do you uh, name it? I think I think we should let Chris name this one, just to get him, just to get sure him thing. back in the saddle again, so to speak. This silly. could be your horse, Chris. Silly, 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 <laughs> silly. <so> silly. <laughs> silly and Billy. Yes, <laughs> silly, silly, silly. silly. <laughs> That's a good one. I like it. Silly. <laughs> right. Silly, silly, silly. Yeah. <laughs> I love how Chris is such a little baby child. <laughs> It's so small. <laughs> so, Just so ignore the dead body. Ignoring the dead body of Billy that you killed in cold blood, Billy who was just protecting his ranch and honoring the memory of his wife and his dog. Um, you take the horses that belong to Billy, who is now dead, who did nothing wrong, um, and you ride forward toward where the sun is rising in the direction 
um, of the, the train tracks. Um, oh, he gave him an offer he couldn't refuse, and he refused it. Well, he did. <laughs> he sure did. Um, yeah. yeah, you ro you ride onward, and eventually um, you realize that uh, you're actually keeping up with the train. The train comes bursting by you um, at breakneck oh, speed. But you're able to keep up fairly well with it um, all the way up until the station. You make it just barely in time to the train station, which is really more like a like a random little depot, like a, a random stop out in the out in the middle of nowhere. Because it's not really so much a station as it more as a platform. Um, likewise, there is no box to buy any ticket. Hmm. Uh. So the people that are waiting by the platform, they seem to actually all have their tickets ready. Just a couple of folk, um, some some a bit more high-end and bougie-looking than others. The train stops, but you feel like it won't be stopping for very long. What do you do? All right, gentlemen. We have to get ourselves on board that train right there. Unfortunately, we don't have any tickets to our name. It doesn't look like they're selling any either. We wouldn't be able to buy it anyways. We have but two cash and it's mine <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, oh, okay oh. but those 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 people lined up perhaps perhaps we were able we might be able to negotiate with negotiate them. or perhaps trick Chris you distract them you pretend to be some sort of young lad in need of some help they're they're dressed dressed all posh I think they are of weak constitution and fat of pocket. You distract him while we yoink, yoink their little tickets. What say you, Chris? You think you could do this? Uh, I think I think that's a great idea, but uh, maybe we can nap some tickets by just, uh, I don't know, putting a, putting a gun against their face. All right, mm. sounds good. Ter I terrifying. grab Chris, I pick him up, and I turn the corner of the train like out in front of everyone I say nobody oh <laughs> Wait, what do you, what do you say? hand over your tickets <laughs> sorry oh, this little boy here gets it <laughs> oh, I don't want to die yet I miss my mommy this right here is my partner you would call him <laughs> oh my god okay um so in order to do this uh, I'm gonna need you to straight talk that's intimidation roll your straight talk all right I'll do it I swear all right. Oh, damn. All right, everybody kind of, their eyes widen, these these random folk. They're not used to sites like this, uh, especially the cushy-looking ones. Really not used to this. Some of the more gristly-looking cowboys just sort of raise an eyebrow and back away. They don't want to fight. Um, they do have their hands close to their guns, but not quite on the handles. See, they, they don't want to fight. They, too, know that violence is a risky action. Um, so they back away, and, um, and a couple of them, you know, put their... They just kind of toss their their tickets at you. Some of them crumple crumple up their tickets and throw them at you. Um, some of the more posh-looking people, um, they kind of don't want to give in. They just sort of back away, and uh, some of them run. So right. you got Cal about collect. three tickets uh, on the ground. I will reluctantly collect those three tickets and then sidle over and then hand them over to to Father Father Clavington. All right, now you get. If you want this little boy to live here, go, run. Run the other way. Sweet Jesus, someone whispers. I just want to see my dad one last time before I go. You be quiet! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We get on the train. All right. Don't move a muscle. We're going to step on this train now. <laughs> you guys uh, step on the train right as the brakes of the train kind of release and it gets moving. And you guys make your way onto the peasant car. Good job, Chris. Yeah, that, that wasn't my plan. Saint Clevin, I'm in love with you. <laughs> We're probably gonna get arrested sometimes. Oh, south of 24, even... 24 hours. I don't even know our names. That, that that really wasn't my plan. I didn't think you'd use me as a, <laughs> as a hostage. But you know, I, I guess I guess if it works, it works. We gotta. We have to play to our strengths, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> you do have the cold, dead eyes. Threatening people is your strength, I guess. Calculated. <laughs> Messed up. Do you guys um is you guys wanna Yeah, car? you wanna do anything yeah. in here? Uh, Alright. Well we 
need to find our way to what I assume would be the poker game and the front yes. cars and the bougie carts, huh? Yes, sir. Right, well, why don't we just meander on over there then? I'm guessing we don't have access to the nicer cars of the train. Mm. We'll have to find a way to get up there. See, we have a snow piercer situation on our hands. Keep imagining snow piercer. No one what in the Chris West knows Evans. what the fuck snow piercer what is. What Chris Evans do right now? Hmm. Well, why don't we just ask around the people in the car? Maybe we could glean some information we could use to our advantage. Mm. There might be a way to buy into that game. Mm. High stakes gamblers are always looking for somebody with too much money, too little sense to, to take money off their hands, correct? Mm. Hey, that was quite a yarn, wasn't it? Huh? Really exciting. You know, that Eddie Dean's quite an athlete. You know, my uncle couldn't stop. He kept right on going. Never stopped till he got to the Pacific Ocean. You want to know something? That ditch he dug right there to this very day? Yes, sir. Folks calls it the Panama Canal. Yeah. Yeah. 